How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to connect your uh, Kindle Touch to a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot or Wi-Fi at home. And then after that I'm going to show you um, how to connect to 3G if you have one of the 3G miles as well. So first thing you want to do, go ahead and uh, hit the button at the bottom so that will take it off of the sleep mode. And we're going to hit the home button just so we can get back to the main screen. So upper right corner, click on where it says menu. And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that wireless is turned on. And if you notice right now it says turn off wireless, that means that it's actually connected. Um, so after you notice, or let's go ahead and tap that first actually. So I actually just turned it off. So to turn on wireless, menu, turn on wireless, click on there. Now, go back to menu, and you want to come down to where it says settings. And then right here where it says Wi-Fi networks, go ahead. It actually shows you that there's six available networks. So go ahead and tap on there. And now, um, so my network is named Miss Rudolph. So I'm going to go ahead and come down to Miss Rudolph. Notice when there's a lock in front of it, that means that it's a protected network and you have to have the code in order to log into it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Miss Rudolph. I'm going to go ahead and type in the password. Uh, and let me go ahead and hide the password. Okay. Hit connect. And now it's connecting to the hotspot or to the Wi-Fi spot. And the way you know is if you look in the corner right here, it actually will say Wi-Fi right here. Okay? And you'll see a little symbol that kind of shows you like how much, uh, how many bars you have. Let's see how far I can get it. So see right there, it actually says Wi-Fi. And it shows you how strong the signal is. Okay? So... That's essentially how you connect to Wi-Fi. If you're at a hotspot, you're going to do the exact same thing. Make sure wireless is on, and then go ahead and go to menu and settings, and you're going to look for wireless network and um, put in the code to connect. Okay? Now, if you have a 3G Kindle uh, Touch, the way you connect to 3G is pretty simple. Um, what it'll do is, um, if you're not in an area where there's a Wi-Fi hotspot and your wireless is turned on it'll automatically switch to 3G so let me show you an example so right now I'm going to go to Wi-Fi networks and right now I'm connected with my home network which is Miss Rudolph but if I want to switch to uh, 3G now let me make a disclaimer first if I was in an area where there's a hotspot I wouldn't want to have 3G on because I want to save the battery 3G actually will drain it faster so in normal cases you wouldn't do this but uh, just to be able to demonstrate it um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, hit this network which is the one I'm connected to and it asked me do you want to forget this network I'm gonna hit forget and so now that it's forgotten um, all the wireless networks that I'm surrounded by require a password so what the Kindle will do is it'll automatically switch to the 3G mode so if you look right here in the corner it actually now says 3G, okay, because wireless is turned on, but I'm not connected with a um, wireless network. So that's all you have to do in order to uh, connect to 3G. And now um, what I recommend to you is don't leave wireless on, because if you've read the, the specs on the Kindle Touch, the battery is supposed to last you up to two months. But that's if wireless is not kept on continuously. So in this case... I would go to menu and now I'm going to go to turn off wireless. Okay. And now that I've done that, if you look at the top right here, there's nothing right here. It doesn't say Wi Fi, it doesn't say 3G, nothing is connected. So that means that now I'm going to preserve a lot of battery just by um, not being connected to a network. So that's how you connect to Wi Fi, and that's also how you connect 3G for your Kindle Touch. Hope that was helpful and uh, post a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video and have a good one.